Tatsi, Kahke Octetam Scott Nawal, Kawit Spim Hamutis Gornitsi Kasun. My name is Josephine Small. I greet all of you. Um, it is Orange Shirt Day, National Day of Truth and Reconciliation. What I want to bring, the message I want to get across this year is the kids that never came home. As you're watching the videos, you're going to see that there's an empty chair sitting here beside me. And that's to symbolize, to remember the kids that never came home. So we put an empty chair here. Um, there were so many kids that never came home. Um, my uncle, Dr. Wilton Longchild, uh, did that at the summer games, elder games. Um, he had them leave two empty lanes open for, um, for kids that never got to swim, for kids that never got to live, for they never got to be ancestors. They could have been somebody's ancestor, but they never got that chance. So we are remembering them in this way um, with the empty chair that they can come and join us. Um, I did that when the Pope came. I put an uh, empty chair for the ancestors so the ancestors could come and sit with me and say the words that needed to be said because a lot of these words are not our words. They're the words of our ancestors. So um, please remember that there were children that never came home. Hi, hi. Welcome and good morning. I have the privilege to read a story here from the Métis series written and illustrated by Leah Marie Dorian, the story of the tamarack tree. Long ago, the Muskeg people lived in harmony within the circle of life. Life was precious and the Muskeg people depended upon many trees for their continued survival. Two magnificent trees, the tamarack and spruce, gave of themselves to make life better for the people. During harvest time, the Muskeg people always gave thanks to the trees. One fine day, the Muskeg people visited the territory of tamarack and spruce to harvest roots to make sewing thread. Both trees enjoyed the hustle and bustle of these visits. On this particular day, the Muskeg people only visited spruce tree to gather roots. Tamarack was deeply offended as the people passed right by his trunk. I don't understand why they are not harvesting my roots today, said Tamarack. Perhaps the people will harvest your roots tomorrow, replied Spruce. My roots are durable and tough. Why not use mine too, remarked Tamarack. Perhaps the muskeg people have a good reason for their choices, offered Spruce. Soon after, the muskeg people returned to harvest wood for the construction of their canoe paddles. Once again, they harvested from Spruce rather than Tamarack. Tamarack watched with envy, longing for the same attention the muskeg people bestowed upon spruce. Well, I'm not sure why they are not using my wood, as it is harder and more durable, remarked Tamarack in an unfriendly manner. Indeed, your hard wood is beautiful. However, maybe they require my soft wood for their carvings, spoke spruce. Nonetheless, I'm equally as useful, expressed Tamarack. True. But our Creator advised us not to compare ourselves to each other. We all have a special place within the circle of life, commented Spruce. Reconciliation is an ongoing commitment that requires continuous effort in order to achieve reconciliation, which of course cannot be accomplished within a single day or moment. In order to work towards reconciliation, we need to be open to engaging in those difficult conversations, confronting uncomfortable truths, and embracing the rich diversity that makes our community so very vibrant. As a board and as a community, let us remain united in our commitment to fostering those meaningful relationships, promoting understanding, and continuously sharing our stories because every child matters.